Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed? Well, it's time for Moet Sharaga, the appointed time of refreshing. Come on, let's bless the Lord and get ready for the Word of God. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Moet Sharaga. Oh, Moet Shalaraga, the appointed time of refreshing. It's time for the word, the word of God. Time to be blessed and refreshed. For in his presence is fullness of joy, 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 joy. At his right hand, pleasures forevermore. Moet shall raga. Moet shall raga. Ooh. The appointed time. Of refreshing. I want to live. I want to abide. In the presence of the Lord. Mm. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. da. <laughs> Da 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 Come on, let's go. The word of the Lord is coming from Romans chapter 6, verses 14 to 18. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible. It says, sin is no longer your master, for you are no longer subject to the law, which enslaves you to sin. Instead, you are free by God's grace. So since God's grace has set us free from the law, does this mean we can go on sinning? Of course not. Don't you realize that whatever you choose to obey becomes your master? You can choose sin, which leads to death, or you can choose to obey God and receive his approval. Thank God. Once you were slaves of sin, but now you have obeyed with all your heart the new teaching God has given you. Now, you are free from sin, your old master, and you have become slaves to your new master, righteousness. Hallelujah. And the note says, if we're no longer under the law, but under grace, are we now free to sin and disregard the Ten Commandments? Paul says, of course not. When we were under the law, sin was our master. The law does not justify us or help us overcome sin. But now that we are bound to Christ, he is our master and he gives us power to do good rather than evil. All people have a master and pattern themselves after him. Without Jesus, we would have no choice. We would be enslaved to sin. And the results will be guilt, suffering, and separation from God. Thanks to Jesus, however, we can now choose God as our master. Following him, we can enjoy new life and learn how to work for him. Are you still serving your first master, sin? Or have you chosen God? My dearly beloveds, my dear brothers and sisters, the question today is, have you chosen?
to obey God completely with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. I have decided to follow God all the way with everything I have. So I want to encourage you, son of God, follow God with all that you have. It doesn't matter what this world can offer. Follow God. Doesn't matter what challenges you come up against. Follow God. Hallelujah. Paul says that just because we are given grace and we've been set free, should we go on sinning? And he says, he answers that. He says, of course not. God forbid Realize that whatever you obey, that's your master. If you have an urge to sin, to lie, to cheat, to fornicate, that's your master. But God has given us the Holy Spirit who will help us to obey God and what God wants for us. So I want you, son of God, to remember whatever you feed is going to be stronger So I encourage you, feed your spirit, the word of God. Read the word of God. Meditate on it day and night. Watch what you listen to, what music you listen to. Make sure that it edifies your soul. Make sure what you read is edifying to your soul. Feed your spiritual man. Fast. Pray. Read the word of God. I'm telling you, son of God. We must be prepared. God is soon to come. Let's get ready. Let's obey God with all that we have so that someone can see our lives and glorify our Father. Come on, let's pray. Father, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus, we call you hallowed. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. We present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. Father, we don't want to be conformed by this world, but we ask that you would transform us by the renewing of our mind. Let the same mind that was in Christ Jesus be in us. Father, we claim the mind of Christ. Father, we want to obey you. So Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us into all truth. Oh God, you said that your sheep hear and know your voice and we follow you. Show us the way that we should go. Help us to walk in your truth. For the word of God is a light, it's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Father, we love you, we bless you. We say yes to your will. We crown you, Lord. We crown you, God, as Lord, Master, Savior, King of our lives. We say yes to your will and yes to your way. And Father, because you are the Lord of our lives, we are your domain, and God, you take good care of us. We thank you that we are your kingdom, the kingdom of God, and we bring the kingdom of heaven everywhere, backing the darkness up and showing and shining our light, which is you inside of us. God, we love you and we bless you. Thank you for making us a royal priesthood, a holy nation called forth to show forth your praises and to give you glory, to give you praise here on this earth. Thank you that we are your ambassadors. Thank you for such a privilege to serve you, our King. We love you and we bless you. God, we thank you that you have brought us out of darkness and put us in your marvelous light. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us, that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God, that miracle signs and wonders follow our lives because we believe your word. You said those that believe, Lord God, and we believe. God, you said we can have the faith, the size of a grain of a mustard seed, and we can speak to our mountain and it should be cast into the midst of the sea. Thank you, Lord, for the power and authority that you've given us. You told us, Lord God, to be fruitful, to multiply, to subdue, to have dominion, Lord God, to replenish. We thank you, God. Thank you that we know that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, that he is the door, and that we can go in and obtain the things that we need from the spiritual world, Lord God. Father, teach us how to walk in the spirit. 
and we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh thereof. God, we love you. We bless you. We adore you. Teach us how to walk in the spirit. Teach us how to walk in the supernatural. Teach us how to build the supernatural, God, the, the spirit inside of us to feed the spirit, Lord, that we will walk in your truths, God, and that we would do as Jesus did, going about doing good everywhere we go. God, we love you. We bless you. We want to honor you. We want to make you proud. So, Father, work in us. Work on us. You are the potter and we are clay. Mold us, make us, shape us, break us. Take out every mar, every blemish, every stain, every wrinkle, everything that's not like you, God. We ask that you would take it out of us. God, speak to us. Oh, oh God, open up our spiritual eyes, our spiritual understanding. God, help us to discern and sense the signs of the time. Father, we pray healing for the body of Christ. We pray the word of healing. You said, beloved, above all, you would that we would prosper, be in health, even as our soul does prosper. So, Father, we seek your kingdom. We seek your righteousness. And we decree that our soul is fat and flourishing. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for Psalm 91, where you said that none of these diseases will come nigh out to them. We thank you, Lord, for protecting us and keeping us under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord that you are our refuge and our strength, our fortress, our God. In you we trust. We thank you and we give you glory. In the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Well, beloveds, this has been Moet Sharaga, the appointed time of refreshing. I pray that you've been blessed, inspired, refreshed, in the presence of the Lord. Shalom.